Um, gentlemen. Yes, sir. You're a musician? I'm a musician, yes. Okay, can you sing one or two of your songs? <laughs> of course, yeah, yeah, I can. Please go ahead. <clears throat> yeah, man. <clears throat> Baba Joe. Mulubu, 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 nani. Mulubu, mulubu, nani. I'm only there yet. Jam, kulu, kam, keke, jam, kulu, kam. Muni, kam, kulu, kam, keke, jam, kulu, kam. Debo is a popular Nigerian comedian, actor, and activist, whom you most likely know as Mr. Macaroni. The character and personality of this young man, who portrays an Abada wearing rich Nigerian, a corrupt people deceiving politician, a student harassing professor, or any other role he takes up in the course of his message sending work. Before Mr. Macaroni became a household name, before gaining over 3.8 million followers on Instagram, 4.3 million on Facebook, and 3.7 million followers on Twitter. Who would have ever believed that the Agbada wearing young man would take the comedy industry by storm? On today's episode on Before They Got Famous, we will delve into the life of Debo Adedayo, popularly known as Mr. Macaroni. How did he become famous? Mr. Macaroni is from Abel Kuta, but raised in Lagos State. As his father, Chief Alao Adedayo, is a veteran journalist and the publisher of Alaruye newspapers. Debo had always wanted to be a lawyer from a young age because he hated cheating and loved to speak out when wrong, which caused him lots of setbacks. Why law, first of all, right? Yeah. And then, how did we get from law all the way to theater? To theater yeah. So recall that I said, theater is my first love, right? Um, yeah performance you know i started that way but then when i from my secondary school i now started to discover that look i i do not like being cheated and i don't like when people around me are being cheated mm. so i saw that i love to speak up for myself and mm. speak up for people around me mm. you know so that was where that thing for law started i just found out like, baba if you try to eh, now we talk I will talk and if you want to fight, we will fight. <laughs> so, you know, it was that time and I said, Oh look, I want to be a lawyer. I want to, you know. Then, you know, we'll read about Ghani Fawe in me mm. and, and the likes. I said, I want to be like Ghani. I want to talk. I want to, I want to fight everybody. <laughs> My lord. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so that was how the thing for law started. Mr. Macarini's life hasn't been easy and he has faced a lot of challenges from going to four different universities. He proceeded to Redeemers University and that's where he finished and graduated before proceeding for his NYC. And immediately after secondary school, I got admission into Leeds City University for law and we started that. In fact, I was in 200 level already at the time when we had issues with accreditation at that time. You know, so we just had one day, we woke up one morning and we just said that um, NUC's um, secretary said anybody studying law there was doing so at his or her own risk. Something with some of us on the 200, 300, 400 level. You say that they study, they study with your ah, which risk. Yeah. Oh boy, now so, I, you know, now we started protest though. Eh? I, was, I was in the forefront like this. <laughs> what was going on? Yeah, come and talk to us. We're calling on the um, owner of the school, the vice chancellor, everyone, register. Everyone. Come and answer us what is going on. You know, so one thing led to one thing. I was very active in the protest. You know, it was. I went somehow, so I had to leave the school. Um, then from there, I went to the North American University in Kotonu. Kotonu, yeah. Yeah, I did just one year, that one. It was still law, but I had to even start from other level again. And I was doing the law until I had a clash with one of my lecturers, you know, at the time, who wanted to be funny. And I was letting him know that, Baba. Yeah, no, we, we plenty we funny. You. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so what? So, but you, you all just largely had to do with me not accepting that because things have been a certain way it is right hmm. you know i always tell people that that because that's the way they do it does not mean it's right hmm. you know we should all get to a point where we can speak up for ourselves and you know because universities most universities especially nigerian or african universities have this mentality like oh 
I'm your lecturer. I cannot talk to me anyhow. <laughs> you know, oh, you can all ask questions. You know, I, I strongly believe that's why university is a university. Exactly. Students should be, I mean, you should yeah. have that freedom, engage your lecturers, dialogue with them. I'm not saying be rude or be hey, one kind of those, you know, that time. So there was something I did some days back. Uh, I was um, on Toy and Falala's um, platform and, you know, there was something I said. I opened up, I said, look, if I had the chance to redo some things back then, I would have gone a different approach. Let's say maybe I was too um, aggressive or too this or the hell I've got, but it, the, will I have um, stopped speaking up for myself and for others? Absolutely not. Absolutely. It's just that I might have tried a different approach. You know, I'm from uh, North America University in Kutonu. I went to Afebabala University. <laughs> that was it. Uh, you, 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 you don't travel, man. <laughs> Before I finally did the Mass University. Right. I go to theater. And I did theater. He said going into content making was born out of frustration and depression. How did we navigate our way into skit making and comedy? How do we get here? Um, depression. Depression and frustration mm. led me into content creation. As a matter of fact, I I saw I would never do content creation. I I was looking at it at the time and looking at everyone doing it like what's what's all this? What is this one they do? You understand? Like uh, as a test plan, there are a lot of things they mm. teach you mm. as a as a theater as person, and you just feel mm, some things are what's all this one? You want to do stage big performances cinema projects you know works that define you as a thespian so then i was just looking at all this i was looking at brother shaggy la sisi twice mariah and so on i said what are all these ones doing but then so i started going for auditions hmm. you know i was going for auditions back to back casting calls what have you so these people were actually making me doubt my own talent <laughs> because in school i said as to the moment i got into school i think from 200 level i every best actor award now me they call it them mm. so coming to outside of school now nah, going for audition i go go for audition they go call they look me like say what is this what they do ah i got they look say she didn't deceive me for school <laughs> abi. Abi, what did they have look, look at champion <laughs> <laughs> you know so it was so frustrating right so after a while i just i looked at the, these guys and i looked at them again <laughs> Because it'd be like, say, they, what did they, they do? No, too bad, like that. Mm. <laughs> well, well, say, you know, go pressure. Yeah. So I just, I didn't even, at the time, I didn't know what I was doing. I was, I was just um frustrated, like I said. And that was it, how it started. And that was um late 2019. Debo had always loved to speak out. And this was evident in the 2020 police brutality protest. Mr. Makaironi was one of the most vocal, influential Nigerian youth who spoke through their social media platforms, lent their voice to the protest, and occupied the streets to fiercely condemn the brutality of the police. Mr. Makaironi was arrested, along with some other Nigerian youth, during the troubling period. I started to see clips of people like they were already been arrested i was following the news i said oh boy and and i like here they yeah. my back here they they have i said i know if they look now me they don't they harass people they brutalize them because they come out well fine i i know see me anybody come out but in good conscience i know if you just they back they look so i said look if you want a bike i carry go to gates yeah i just i told nobody to follow me i just went on my own only me you know so i went there and that was how he started they saw me yeah, hey, hey, now you have you, you, you. just carry me inside of this thing and they started their, their yeah, nonsense yeah. however the mr macaroni stage name and comedy skit started popping up on instagram and youtube in 2019 during the nigerian election period adebayo's concerted efforts to continually speak up for the suppressed and awaken the nigerian people's consciousness cannot be anything short of laudable his efforts are undoubtedly yielding effects on the nigerian in his demographic bracket, the youth. When asked how we came about the name Mr. Macaroni, he said, I was on the set of Face to Face playing the role of an extra. At the time, the character I was playing had no name. Usually, they would name those characters Boy 1 and Boy 2. The director wanted this particular character to have a name, so he asked if I had a name in mind and he could give to the character. And just out of blues, I said Mr. Macaroni. And that was how the name stuck. However, it was when I got to the 
university that people began to know me more by the name. There was this female friend who would scream macaroni whenever she saw me on campus back then in school. So I just decided to keep the name and people started calling me Mr. Macaroni. When asked about the video that made him popular, he said it was when he started using the Agbada, people could relate and the video he posted with Sheilo. Mr. Macaroni has won a lot of awards like Trent Award for Force of Influence. With all these strides, one can't help but wonder what's next for Mr. Macaroni. We'll be on the lookout for the exciting things ahead. To ensure you don't miss a moment of the laughter-filled journey, make sure to subscribe to Genius Radio TV. Don't forget to click on the bell icon for notifications.